Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and today we're taking a look at this AOC USB-C portable monitor. So this is a 15.6 inch portable full HD monitor for your MacBook Pro for example or for your Windows PC with a USB-C slash DisplayPort input. It has an IPS screen with wide angle viewing as you can see on the screen so I've tested this out and here's my review on this device. So first things first, this is very easy to use, it's really plug and play. I was really surprised on how this worked, well surprised, I just plugged it in and it worked so for me that's already a surprise because on other screens you always have to twiggle with uh, the settings and all that stuff. This one you plug in USB-C here and you plug in USB-C on the other end in your MacBook for example and it works immediately which is great of course. Now besides the fact that it's easy to plug and play, the cable makes it easy as well because you have different options with the cable. It has two USB-C outs as you can see uh, or in uh, either way. But you can also convert one USB-C to a regular USB-A uh, input, the big one as you can see here, which is the fast one as well. So if you don't have a USB-C input on your PC, for example, you can use the regular USB. But I have the USB-C so you just pull this out and then you have two USB-C ones, that's very nice. The back of this device is uh, kind of metallic as you can see and it reminds me of something. This is my iPad Air, the new version, and as you can see, it's pretty similar, the back of the iPad Air and the back of this monitor, so that's very nice and that makes sure the quality is good as you can see. So that's great. Now this is a screen, so something else that's really important is the screen quality. They say it's full HD, which I can clearly see when I connect it. It's not 4K uh, to be clear, but for working and for some videos on YouTube, for example, when you're on the go, this is really, really, really nice. The screen quality is good, the colors are great, and the brightness is very good as well. So nothing bad to say about that. I already said it, it's really easy to use with just one cable, but it's also very easy because there's only one button on this device. So if you wanna go through the menus, for example, you press the button and you can go, once you press it, you go right, for example, and then you wait a couple of seconds and then it selects the thing you're on, for example, and then you can change the settings while waiting every time you click on this button. So that's really nice. Now, what is the purpose of this screen? Well, it's uh, mainly a screen for when you're remote, when you're working remote. For example, this week I was in a hotel for my work and I only had my MacBook 14 inch MacBook Pro with me, which is not a really big screen. But I like the form factor, that's why I've chosen a smaller one. But if you don't really have a second screen, it's not that easy to, for example, multitask when you're in an Excel, for example. Now, that's where this thing comes in. It's really small, as you can see, and it's easy to carry around. There's also a bit of a protection on the foot. If you put it in front of the screen, you have it protected a bit like an iPad, for example, as well. And it, it reminds me of uh, the uh, Apple uh, thing to... And it reminds me a bit of an Apple cover, as you can see, which is also very nice. So yeah, mainly for working when you're on the go, uh, this will be very nice, especially for the price as well. Uh, this will be very good to help you with your workflow when you're on the go. Now, I've already said it a couple of times, this is for on the go, which also brings me to the first negative thing on this device. This won't replace a regular monitor like the one you see behind me, for example. This is good when you're traveling and when you want to have a second screen on the go, uh, which is not that big and clunky to take with you. But when you have a home office like this one, for example, this won't do you any good because it's for a, a fixed monitor or for a home monitor, it's not one, it's not big enough. Um, maybe the screen quality, it's okay, it's 1080p, some monitors also are 1080p. This one is 4K, for example, which is a bit way better, uh, to be fair. Um, so yeah, for a fixed screen, this won't do the job. One thing I've also noticed when using this screen is that you can't really pivot it enough. It's very easy to uh, set up, by the way, so you just do this and it's set up and then you click this one and uh, clip this one on. And then you can uh, pivot it a little bit to the back and that's the furthest it will go. That's not really far as you can see. So uh, in my opinion, it should go something like this as well, but that's just not possible as you can see. 
Um, but you can put it almost uh, vertically or horizontally. I don't know uh, how you call that in, uh, in English. But as you can see, there are it's about five degrees uh, you have uh, to spare to go uh, back or forward. So that's not a lot in my opinion. Uh, great thing about this is that you can put it like this as well. Uh, which is very nice when uh, you're writing code, for example. I've talked about the backside, which I really like. It's some kind of uh, metalish, I think. But the front side is plastic, and you can hear it. I don't really like that. Um, I think it will, it can break fast if you drop it or something like that. And it 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 might have some gaps in here as well, as you can see. If you put it a little bit, you will have a gap in here as well, but it's not really meant to be pulled, of course. But that's something, yeah, that's also because of the price point of $200, you can't really be expecting to have a full metal body as well, of course. Another thing, if you're buying this for a gaming monitor, for example, for some reason, don't do it because, yeah, this is not for gaming. <laughs> this is just to have a second screen uh, to have your workflow a bit better and a bit faster. Not for gaming, especially not. And also, really, if you want to use it for watching videos, especially, for example, I would also maybe not recommend this. Uh, but if you're looking for something like this, I think it's mainly for working and to have some multitasking, then this will uh, do the job perfectly. Especially if you have a MacBook Pro, I think it works as well with the Windows, of course, as well as it works with a MacBook. But if you have a MacBook Pro, it's very easy to plug and play with the USB-C. You only need one cable and it will work. But that also means that this will take a bit of battery from your Mac or from your other PC you're using because it's powered via the USB-C and it takes power from your laptop, of course. So uh, take that into account. So maybe you have to plug in your laptop to the power outlet when you're working. But on the new MacBook Pros, I have the feeling that the batteries are really good. So uh, you can use it for almost a full day without charging it, I think. Then maybe one last negative thing I want to say about this monitor is that it is a bit too big, in my opinion, to take with me easily because it's bigger than my MacBook 14 inch, but it's about the size of a MacBook 15 inch, which is, yeah, to be fair, not that big. But if you put this in your bag, I'm not really sure if it will hold up bumps and other stuff and if it will break fast. I'm not going to try that because I have to return this device. Um, so I'm not going to try to break it, of course. But um, in my opinion, it just does not look that sturdy and durable, especially on the front. On the back, it's okay, but on the front, nah. It, it, it doesn't give me that, that confidence when I see it, but hey, uh, maybe you're someone who is uh, really, really careful with this stuff and won't really have an issue with that. So maybe that's not even an issue for you. But if you're someone who has a bag who, and, and, and puts everything in the bag, throws it in there, throws your bag over there and hopes your laptop doesn't break, it, this thing might break. If your laptop doesn't, this will probably break. But maybe then this is not for you, of course. One thing I also notice is that you can push the screen in a little bit, which I don't really like on devices. That really means that the screen is standard quality and not high, high quality. So um, I don't really like pressing in screen screens that press in. I don't really like that, but hey, um, it's $200 by the way, about $200, a bit more. So you can't really be expecting a 4K HDR, whatever screen. Uh, you're getting on a um, iPad, for example, over here. So I think they really did a great job on this device for that price. It's a portable extra monitor, which you can put beside you when you're working on Excels, when you're working in Teams, when you're working on Word docs, for example, or when you're coding something and you're on the go, you're in a hotel or you're at a bar, for example, and uh, your uh, screen from your laptop is not big enough or you need two screens for your mails for example and the other one for your browser which i have all the time then this is really great i did enjoy this when i was in the hotel this week and it was really easy to view my mails on this screen for example and keep working on my other screen from my laptop so that's the main reason why i should suggest this if you travel a lot, for example, or if you really don't have the money to spare, maybe you don't really have the money for a big uh, monitor, then this might 
do you some good if you only have a small screen on your laptop so uh, yeah this is a really good device i was surprised with the build quality especially on the back not really the front i was expecting the front to be a little bit more plastic but i wasn't expecting the back to be this good so that's a plus for me so overall if you're someone who really takes care of its devices then this will be a really good bargain for you it's only about 200 or 210 dollars something like that and it just works well it's plug and play it's a nice device it's a uh, good screen with good screen quality it's a bit big in my opinion but hey um, that's good because you then have a bigger screen of course of course you also have the bezels which i haven't told you about yet but you've already seen them in, in the video of course um, so that's a bit of a shame big bezels we don't really like that of course but hey again 200 dollars goodbye and goodbye because this is the end of the video <laughs> All right, so I want to thank you for watching this video. Of course, as always, if you have any questions regarding this USB-C portable monitor from AOC, let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to help you. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you didn't, I would say leave a dislike, but the dislike buttons are gone. So leave a like if you didn't enjoy as well. <laughs> and I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.